Hey, what's going on everyone? I appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you all some of my favorite camp locations. I know how it is trying to search for a new spot to make a camp at. Hopefully some of these are able to help you out. I know there are plenty of other good locations out there, but these are just a few I figured I'd showcase. Enjoy. The first one I'll be starting off with will be located from Vault 76 down here in the middle of nowhere in the Ash Heap region. I'll be starting right around here on the map, but the location is actually up in the mountains over here. I'm just going to be showing you all how to get up there because it can be kind of confusing. So as you can see, we're going to be heading up to that mountain way up there. And in order to get up there, one way is to just head over here to the cliffside. There will be some enemies you'll possibly encounter heading up to this, so keep that in mind. Nothing too tough though, like some rad rats or some wolves or something. But yeah, once you get up here, there's a path that you could take that will lead you up to this spot. As you can see, a little path we could take to get up here. Once you get up here, you'll find this fence line. And this fence line will lead you over to the spot. There will be a few enemies right here that you'll encounter. Some rad rats spawn for me here. There's one rad rat. Let me go ahead and take these out real quick. Ah, here come the other. Okay. So yeah, anyways, from this other spot up here that you'll encounter some enemies, if you keep heading this way, you'll find a beautiful spot to make a camp. As you can see, right here, you got a lot of land to work with in this general vicinity. As you can see, you can place your camp up here. You got quite a bit of land right here to work with if you want to make it at this area. Or you could move the camp over here at this area we're closer to the cliff side so you have a beautiful view over here as you can see there's like a whole overview of the ash heap at this location <laughs> we're really high up we're basically almost above the smoke that's over in the ash heap it's insane this could also be a good spot to like build a spaceship or something too because of how high up we are here definitely recommend this spot especially if you're wanting one with the view but yeah as you can see here's exactly where I'm located at over here in the outskirts of the ash heap you wouldn't even think this spot would be accessible you would think this would be like outside the map but it's not it's just kind of tricky to get to um but yeah also as you can see up here there's this chair that overlooks this view of the ash heap region however you can't sit in this chair for some reason don't know what's up with that but if you do make your camp over here you can just place a chair over at this area heck you could probably make like a back porch right here this would be a crazy back porch view. But, uh, yeah. You'll also find this skeleton over here. And a broken camera right here. Next to this fallen over table. Definitely an interesting spot to make a camp at. Alright, so for this next camp location, we'll be located way over here in the middle of nowhere in the Meyer region, underneath the compass on the map. It'll be located right here where I'm located at. As you can see, there is a treehouse located in this gigantic tree you can find over here. And the trick to be able to build up in the treehouse is by making your camp somewhere in the middle of the giant tree. So you're able to build from the ground up to the treehouse. In case you're wondering how you get up into it, you just simply go over here and head up this. And this will take you up to the treehouse. As you can see, you just walk up this tree right here. That'll lead you up to this platform. Then you just follow this over to this platform. And yeah, this will take you up to the treehouse. And like I mentioned before, now we're going to be having to place our camp like halfway up this tree. You don't want to place the camp up on the treehouse because then you won't be able to place things on the ground and make it so you have floors up here. Um, so yeah, make sure you just place your camp like halfway on it. Like right there. That should be good enough. And the reason why you need to do that is because right now I can't place any floors. I have to make a way up here first. And then I can place my floors around this treehouse to expand on it. So yeah, once you got your camp placed up on this tree, you then just want to head down. Okay, so now what I have to do is make a staircase that leads up to the treehouse. And that's how you're able to build around this treehouse that's up in this tree by using upper floors. 
I will mention, at least for me, it took some trial and error to eventually get the staircase to flow nicely around the tree up to the tree house. It can be pretty time consuming trying to build a camp here. But overall, the end results are awesome. Your camp gets to be a tree house. But yeah, hope you all have fun with this one if you do decide to build here. All right, so this next camp location won't be too far at all from Vault 76. It'll be located right by the isolated cabin. Over here, you can find a beautiful camping spot that has plenty of water around, and there will be a random scavenger that'll spawn here as well. And in case you don't know, having a scavenger at your camp can be beneficial because they do provide you with things. Such as, for instance, let me go ahead and talk to him right now. If you need some ammunition, I can help. As you can see, he actually offered me some ammunition. So that's one thing that they can provide you with. I'll go ahead and answer with the Strength 8 Plus answer. Oh, uh, yes, of course, all yours. So yeah, up above, as you can see, they got quite a bit of random ammunition. And they'll also provide you with like eight items, magazines that'll give you bonus effects. There's all kinds of things a scavenger will help you with. So yeah, overall having a scavenger at your camp is beneficial and it makes your camp unique too. It's like you have two allies at your place. Um, it makes it feel like you have like a little crew or something at your camp because they will attack nearby enemies as well. But um, also at this location, as you can see, it comes with a unique deck at this area with uh, plenty of dead fish around on it and you can find a fishing rod too at the end of the deck this is a really nice area and it's awesome how there's water around in this place too so we're able to put down water purifiers to stock up on some purified water and sell to train station vendors nearby or something to get some fast caps that's one big plus and also we're able to collect dirty water and as we know a lot of crafting involves water so yeah that's some of the reasons why having water at your camp is beneficial but yeah there's also some loot you want to keep an eye out for to scavenge around in this area too such as the footlocker and toolbox that's on and around the deck and on the other side of the pond here you can find some beehives with some honey that you can loot and also the trail that leads down to this pond where you can find the fishing sign at. Over here on this table near the fishing sign, you can find a fisherman's hat that you can pick up and a cooler will be on this table too that you can loot. But yeah, that's it with this camp location. This next one will be located over here a little below top of the world. It'll be located right by Beckwith Farm. Over here at this location, you can find this billboard up in the mountains. As you can see, here's the view over being up here. But yeah, besides the view of this camp location, there's also tons of cats that'll spawn over here um, around this billboard. As you can see, we got a tabby cat right there, a black cat right there that's running off, and a few other cats up here. Another black cat and another one. Oh, what the heck? They just disappeared. What? Oh, they, they spawned down here. I guess I was blocking their way down, but yeah, pretty cool how many cats spawn up here. There's also loot that you can uh, scavenge around in this spot too. Looks like someone was camping out here next to these cats at one point. Neat little setup, but yeah, as you can see, you could place the camp down at this area. Bam! And every time you spawn in, those cats will be around in your camp. And you got this amazing view from up here too. It's nice but yeah anyways this next camp location I feel like I need to add into this video just because it is a great location and it's also another one where it's like you would have a pet cat except this time it's not going to be multiple pet cats as you see down here in the ash heap right above Welch station right here where I'm located out on the map you can find a cat named Mergle here and yeah you can actually build around this cat so it's like you have a pet cat at your camp as you can see you can place your camp here and yeah now you just build around Mergle and he's like your very own pet at this camp pretty neat this is definitely an awesome spot to build a camp at and I will point out there are some locked safes that you can unlock around this area as you can see there's one in here that you can find and there's another one over here uh, these are great to know about if you do end up making a camp over here. You can loot these safes each time you spawn in. That's a level 3 locked safe there. But yeah, overall, 
this is definitely a place to make a camp at if you wanted to feel unique from your others. Just because it's like you have a pet cat here. And there's already some pre-made structures around this vicinity too to help make your camp stand out from others. You may be more familiar with this area because I have went over it in the past on my channel. But just thought I would add it into this just because it is a great spot to build at. Alright, so since we're on the topic of like having pets at your camp... Um, this next one I'll be showing y'all will be a dog that you can build around. Over here, a little above Harper's Ferry, right here on the map, right next to Harper's Ferry Tunnel, you can find a dog up here on the mountaintops. As you can see, there's Harper's Ferry right over there, not fully rendered in with detail. And there's the bridge that leads over to Harper Ferry Tunnel. And yeah, up here at the mountaintops, you can find this dog that you can build around. Go ahead and show y'all. As you can see, I can place a camp here. And I believe this might have been the dog's owners a long time ago. And somehow the dog lived. Not exactly sure how, but you can see a leash right here and a dog bowl too next to these skeletons. I think this is like telling a story that these were the owner of this dog. But then again, who knows? But yeah, you can build a camp up here which is really cool. This is definitely a great spot to build your camp at if you're wanting like a pet dog at your place. Now I know you can tame animals like a dog and a cat and have them be sent back to your base. The difference is though when they die you're gonna have to now go take the time again to go tame them to come back to your camp. If one of these die that you built your camp around you can just simply hop servers and they'll spawn right back in. You don't have to take the time to go tame anything. Which is definitely beneficial because it helps you save time. So yeah, that's another perk about building your camp around these animals that I showed you in this video. If you want like a pet at your camp. Alright, so this next one is a pre-existing structure that you can build in over at the White Spring Resort. This building looks awesome. As you can see, over here at the White Spring Resort, you can build inside of this building here. I'll go ahead and give you all a quick tour of this place. There's plenty of loot that will spawn in here that you can scavenge. But yeah, all of this will be available inside of your camp. Pretty sweet. As you can see, you can place your camp here if you want to build at this place. Now I will mention you can get to the top of this building by just traveling around the back of it. A little something something going on up here too. Got a nice view of the golf course from this place. And once again, plenty of loot to just scavenge and break down around this place. I will mention there is a safe right here behind this desk, along with a lot of other goodies. All right, so this next camp location will be another pre-existing structure you can find over here next to the Monongo power plant. As you can see, it's a little above Bolton Greens. So yeah, over here you can find this massive cabin, and inside of this cabin, you are able to build in it, as you can see. You can place your camp within here. Um, something I will want to warn you guys about, though, when you do first come here, you will be encountered by some enemies. Some enemies will be here that you'll have to take on, or who knows, when you come here you may run into Felton Reed. But what I do know is, once I placed my camp here, when I hopped servers, nothing spawned here. It was like the camp that I placed here canceled out their spawn. Because I didn't even see Felton Reed. And I tried hopping servers a few different times just to see if anything would spawn. And yeah, didn't see anything around in this area. Thought that was a pleasant surprise. But yeah, here's what the cabin looks like inside. There's plenty going on. And you can definitely deck this place out with decorations and adding things around everywhere to make it feel more put together like add some kitchen stuff like a fridge and a stove in the kitchen area and then maybe you know tidy up the bedrooms that are in here by adding some things around in them as well as the bathroom and whatnot and yeah you can really get this place looking great building your camp inside of here will definitely make your camp stand out from others pretty big place has a whole huge deck too with a nice view and to top it off at the top, it says to keep off. <laughs> but yeah, that's about wrapping up this location. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so this next camp location will be located right down here, right next to Garahan Mining Headquarters. It'll be located right where I'm at on the map. 
yeah when you get over here you'll notice that there's three buildings at this location as well as two scavengers so yeah this is a great place if you're wanting to make like a settlement style build as you can see you are able to place your camp here and if you just noticed uh, there's one scavenger right here cutting some wood some trees are better for firewood others better for building you a strong home <laughs> and the other scavenger is located right here sweeping up the place not sure which I enjoy more picking crops or picking off a bunch of mole rats freaking awesome like I mentioned before having scavengers at your place makes it feel like you have a crew at your camp they help make it unique and they can benefit you too it's like you got extra allies at your place what the heck was that? What the heck was that? <laughs> uh, that was horrible. But yeah, that's enough about the scavengers. Another reason why this spot is awesome is because of all of the pre-existing structures that are here. As you can see, you can find a garage right here. That's one building. You can find you can find a pretty big house right here. That's another building. And you can find a greenhouse that you can enter right here, which is the third building over here. And yeah, as you can see, there's plenty of things you can harvest in here. There's also a Nuka-Cola cranberry that'll spawn underneath here, as well as some cement. You can loot plenty of loot around this area. Um, also, you can find some wood in here, too. There's a couple piles of wood in here that you can grab. I already got it, though, so can't loot it again at the moment but yeah as you can see plenty of things to harvest in here and junk to pick up inside this greenhouse just have a look around got plenty that you can scrap in here but um, unfortunately the garage and house are blocked off you can't just freely walk into them like you can with the greenhouse would have been awesome if the doors weren't blocked off but no you can't just freely enter the other buildings here it's a bummer um, but you can also find some more loot behind the house here too so don't forget to look behind here I've already scavenged around in this area though back here but yeah there's some more loot for you that you can grab and there's pumpkins that spawn outside the greenhouse too if you want those you can also see a windmill in the background of this area and there's some more loot over here that you can get too some more wood piles a cooler to loot I don't know just some goodies over here that you can get another reason why I like this location is because of all the vehicles around too you can find a few vehicles around this place there's also even a mailbox out front <laughs> pretty sweet but uh, yeah I guess that is about wrapping up uh, this spot if you want come here for yourself in game and have a look around you may find this spot enjoyable to make a camp at it is a nice location. Alright, so this final camp location I'll be showing you will be located right over here next to Black Mountain Ordnance Works. Keep in mind these locations are in no specific order from like worst to best. But yeah, off the road here, here's the next camp location. As you can see, a stream, as you can see you got water here, and you got a junk pile here as well. So you'll be able to place some water purifiers here, and you'll be able to place a junk extractor here to provide you with junk over time. So, yeah, having this here at your camp, as well as like a collectron that collects junk, you'll be doubling up on the junk that you'll scavenge. And in case you don't know how to place a junk extractor, you're going to have to have a junk pile nearby. Once you do, as you can see in your resources category, you can now place a junk extractor here where you placed your camp, since there is a junk pile around this area. And yeah, it's going to require at least 10 power to run this thing, and over time, it will gather you junk. I will say there's an option to place a lock on your junk extractor as well, if you want to do that. It'll pop up when you hover over the extractor. You can also do this with the water purifiers too, if you want to place a lock on them. But yeah, that's the convenience of this area. It's definitely a nice spot if you are trying to acquire more junk to break down. And to top it all, if you can collect water for crafting purposes, and you can sell purified water to NPC vendors to make you some fast caps. 
but yeah I guess that's why I wrap it up this video everyone hopefully you found this enjoyable and it was able to help you out in some kind of way I know there are many other good locations out there to camp at these are just a few of them that I think are good hopefully you enjoyed these locations I'm out of here though everyone as always thanks for taking the time watching and listening until next time peace